let's take a look at booleans and comparison operators. Welcome back to the Java introduction here for Minecraft and Hightail modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at booleans and comparison operators. Now we've already talked about booleans a little bit in the data types video. However, this one we're basically going to go into a little bit deeper and see what they actually are. So booleans, right, we type in boolean like this. Then for example, this is the liked this video, which hopefully is going to be true, right? We remember that booleans can either be true or false, but that's pretty much it. And then there's probably like another boolean which is commented, which for the time being might be false, right? So a boolean can either be true or false. It has two different values that it can take. And we can also, for example, output those, right? So once again, system.out.println. And then let's say, for example, you have liked this video. And if I then do a plus here and say like this video, then when we actually run this, we can see that you like this video, true. So it simply puts out true. And of course, what we can do is if I put the mouse here and press control D, I duplicate this line, then I can say, you have commented on this video. And then we say plus commented right here. And if I do this, then you can see if commented on this video, false, right? Because it basically just takes this and puts it onto the string. Now, booleans in and of themselves right here are interesting. However, what is really interesting is when we get to the comparison operators. So that's what we are looking at now, comparison operators. And those are the funnel. It's bigger than, right? There's bigger or equals, equals, not equals, smaller than, or smaller or equals. There you go. Those are basically the comparison operators. And it should make a little bit of sense where it's like, okay, we're, we basically are comparing two different values to each other, right? So that should make a lot of sense. So we, for example, might have an integer called your score, which is maybe a score on a test, right? And that might be something like 98, for example. And you could imagine, well, maybe a Boolean, of course, just says, hey, something is true or something is false, right? There's no like fuzziness. It's like, okay, either this is true or this is false. And that's a good idea. For example, the Boolean could be named past class where you need at least 50, you know, in your score, you need at least 50. How could we express this? Well, we could say your score has to be bigger or equal to 50. Right. So this should make sort of intuitive sense. We were like, well, of course, we can compare two different values and we can say, well, if your score, you know, is bigger than 50 or bigger or equal than 50, then you have passed the class. Then class, past class is going to be true. As soon as this is below, right, 41, then of course we know, well, easy enough, then this is false, meaning that past class is false. And yeah, but that's basically the idea. So we can put in a comment here, for example, this is true because of course, 98 is bigger or equal than 50, right? This is true. Therefore, past class is true. And what we can do is I will select this, control C to copy it, control V to paste it in. And then I could just say something like you asked, and then just put in for the time being as class. And then we can even say something like with your score points. And then of course, a plus here as well. So as you can see, this is now the a very long output that we're putting in, but of course, no worries there, it still works. And if we just run this, you can see you passed true with 98 points. And I could also say, for example, if we change this to 41 now, for example, just as an example, as long as it's smaller than 50, you could see you passed false with 41 points. So that's actually really cool already. And then there's another thing that we could, for example, take a look at in terms of comparison operators, for example, has a perfect score, which of course, in this case would only be the case if you have 100. And there you can, for example, say your score equals equals, right, 100. That's very important. One equals means the assignment operator that we've seen previously. And two equals is the comparison operator saying that if this and this are equal, then the entire thing returns a true. So in this case, we know that, you know, our score is 98 because, well, false, because 98 is not equal to 100. Should also make perfect sense, right? Our score is 98. Therefore, we don't have a perfect score. 
we can also copy this one just for the sake of argument here and say something like um you you have a perfect score question mark and then just put in he has perfect score here and then once again when we run this we will see you have perfect score false because in this case sadly we do not have the perfect score but that's of course totally fine now what is also very interesting is that um, this, you know, we've only been comparing integers right now. We can, of course, compare basically everything, right? As long as they're the same data type. So if I have a float, I can do this. If I have, you know, doubles, even strings, I could compare with this. Uh, of course, they are something like a bigger or equals doesn't quite make sense. Only something like equals and not equals. So this one here makes sense. But we can also compare booleans in a sense. So I can, for example, say boolean, you know, failed class is obviously true when past class is false. That might make be a little bit weird, but at the same time, it's like, okay, of course, right? You either fail or you pass. Therefore, if past class, so past class equals false, then we know that this is true. Now, at some point, there's a lot of true, false, true, false stuff that's happening with the Booleans. So this is one of the things where I definitely just um, advise you to just play around with it a little bit to get a little bit of a feel of what is happening here with the false and true. You can always also think of them as zero and one, zero being false and one being true. So that's just one thing. And the idea here is simply that um, basically, you know, as long as if this is true, then we return a false because then this is, isn't equal to each other. And otherwise we return a true because when this is false, this is equal to this, therefore failed class is true. So as you can see, sometimes it gets a little bit weird. Um, you sort of have to develop an intuitive understanding of how this works, um, but no worries there. It's just a matter of, you know, just training a little bit and just trying out stuff. And then last but not least, what we can also do, just because this is a little bit easier, is we can basically negate a certain Boolean by putting a exclamation mark in front of it. So I can say exclamation mark past class, and this is functionally exactly the same. Now, why is that the case? Well, in this case, because if this is true, then we want this to be false. And if this is false, then we want this to be true. Therefore, we can just negate it. So this is negating it, right? Negating a variable with the exclamation mark. Right, written, not quite right, but that's okay. Um, and the idea here is that you basically negate it. So you turn a true into a false, right? True, let's make a new comment here. So true turns into a false. And then of course, false turns into true, right? That should sort of make sense. So you can basically, you know, just put them in there and that simply then returns a new Boolean. So overall, hopefully this sort of makes a little bit of sense. I wanna say one more thing about the comparison operators. They are pretty much exactly the same as the assignment operators or in the sense that the arithmetic operators, so, you know, like plus, minus, and stuff like that, just you don't think of this anymore because the idea is that plus and minus return, for example, an integer, right? When I put in something like the following, if I put in uh, something like 10 plus 10, you have no issue just accepting that this returns an integer, right? It's like, of course it returns an integer. 10 plus 10 is 20, and that's still an integer. It's like, there's no issue there whatsoever. And then when I say, well, you know, if I have pass class equals equals false, then some people might get hung up, but why is this now true? You know, it's like, well, this operator returns a Boolean. This operator returns a Boolean. So all of these operators simply return a Boolean. That's sort of a way that you can think about this as well. So I hope that this was a good introduction for Boolean. Uh, if there are any questions along the way, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer them the best of my ability. Otherwise, this would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like and let's hope that this commented turns true. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. So yeah.